Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be again talking about troubleshooting the AEG mechanical trigger setup. Specifically, we're going to be talking about and also troubleshooting why your physical trigger would not reset in semi-auto but then have no problem resetting in full auto. Again, this is an issue that only occurs in mechanical trigger setups uh, with, within an AEG. So this, can occur, this cannot occur with any of the fancy MOSFETs nowadays that completely replace your uh, trigger setup. All this being said, let's take it to the workbench. First and foremost, we're going to reiterate the problem with the apparatus in front of us. Uh, this problem that we're talking about is when your trigger, this you know physical trigger right here, resets completely fine in full auto, but does not reset at all in semi-auto. It is actually stuck forward in semi-auto. So it'll just kind of be stuck forward like this in semi-auto when you let go of it. But then in full auto, it'll have no problem resetting at all. So, again, we'll talk about how things work before we talk about the solution to the problem. Um, this is a standard mechanical trigger setup for, you know, trigger contacts, trolley, cutoff lever, sector gear that knocks the cutoff lever, etc. Um, and how trigger reset works in an airsoft gun is you have this, obviously, this trigger here. And then underneath of it, you have a very tiny uh, trigger spring. This is a remarkably strong GMP trigger spring. Um, that, uh, that helps the trigger to reset uh, when there's nothing else to help it to reset. Um, it just kind of springs back and forth completely fine as long as that trigger spring is underneath of it and working appropriately. Now, you'll see another spring that's at play here. This little tiny black spring up here on the trolley um, allows the trolley to reset as well. And so when both of these triggers, when both of these springs are working appropriately, you'll pull the trigger in semi-auto, your gun will cycle, well, your gun will cycle, knock off your trigger trolley from the trigger contacts, and then this trigger spring will apply tension to the trigger and reset the trigger to where you can fire again. Now in full auto, when your cutoff lever is completely removed from the situation, you can hold down the trigger, hold down the trigger and your sector gear is going to cycle and now you're firing in full auto and then your trigger will reset now why would your trigger reset fine in full auto but then not fine in semi-auto now in full auto when you pull the trigger the trigger trolley has a spring on that as well like we've already established that alone is enough to reset the trigger so that's no problem at all so if if this is not working and this is broken, like sometimes they do after many years of usage and uh, etc., um, then if if that is not working and it is broken, then this will have then this trigger trolley will have no problem resetting that trigger in full auto and full auto only. Now, if you you know were to go to semi-auto and then your trigger is depressed forward, pushing the trigger trolley forward to make contact and then to rotate the gearbox and then your sector gear knocks off the trigger trolley. Now there's nothing to assist this trigger to reset, but this trigger spring right here that's underneath of it. And if that's broken or out of place, then your trigger is not going to reset at all and you're gonna have to physically reset it. Um, that is quite annoying and makes playing airsoft almost impossible in semi-auto. So the simple problem, or the, the, this simple problem has a very simple solution, just to replace your trigger spring. Um, you don't have to get a super fancy strong one, just, you can just grab one. Uh, they're pretty easily uh, readily available on most airsoft websites that sell internal parts. So that's all you do, is you just swap this trigger spring and it should be good to go. So there you have it, a very simple problem with a very simple solution that just involves replacing a single part. Now I know I have a lot of uh, intermediate to advanced to expert level techs in my subscription list that watch my videos frequently, um, probably just for entertainment alone, um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, so this kind of thing is not for you guys. This is specifically for the people that are starting out in the teching world or have gotten into a place where they never really have to use these mechanical trigger setups because, well, they have gate asters and gate titans and BTC specters and chimeras and uh, 
Perun, hybrid V2s, etc. You know, you have all these really fancy MOSFETs nowadays that we sometimes forget about how the basics work. And so that is what the point of this video is. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And if you wouldn't mind, please like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Airsoft Tech themed content. And I will see you guys in the next video of whatever the heck I'm doing next. But until then, stay tuned, techs.